Hey there everybody, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today I just want to do an update, kind of a redux video for you here of uh, the SE Hungalus. We've had this now for almost a year and been extremely impressed with the capabilities of this blade. You know, the nine and a half inches that it gives you, the 1095, uh, you know, SE's amazing warranty, lifetime warranty on all their stuff. Really good handle ergonomics, I love that. And one of the main things that really just kind of sets this knife apart and why it stays in my collection, because if you know me over here getting his tactical, I'm not really a big knife collector. I love to use knives, uh, but uh, a knife really has to stand out from the crowd for me to keep it around for an extended period of time after I've done you know, the initial testing. And uh, you know, like I said, we've had this for I think almost a year now, and um, I have no plans to get rid of this blade either, just because of how powerful it is. Um, the price point to you know what you're getting ratio is just mind blowing, and one of the big pluses is the sheath. This sheath is amazing. The good Kydex, you know, with the lock and loop um, design, so I can click it in, slide that little bolt up, and it's locked into place. Uh, we're on a backpacking trip. We uh, did about seven and a half miles on the first day you know and i just threw this on the side of the pack and locked it in and you know we're good to go i don't have to you know have another you know night uh company build me a kydex sheath for an amazing blade and that's always a huge thing i'm looking for and i'm sure you guys are i hate having to buy a really awesome knife and have a really crappy sheath and then have to pay probably almost the same price as the knife to get another custom sheath made for it so the the sheath on the se hunglis is amazing i'm really uh really appreciative of the fact that se knows how to Put together some sheaths and put together some knives but uh and as i'm talking here you know you can see just all the capabilities particularly when it comes to you know chopping this thing is absolutely indestructible it just can take so much abuse i've had no chipping rolling you know anything like that you know over time it's dulled a little bit but easily just with ceramic rods you know get the fine edge back on there to shaving sharpness and that's a big thing too is with this blade that it not only came shaving sharp, but I can get it shaving, like literally shave your arm hairs sharp with almost no effort at all uh, with just some ceramic rods and maybe, you know, a diamond stone if I had to, if I got like a really big chip in it, but I've never had anything like that. And all of the ridiculous amount of abuse and chopping in particular that I've put this SE Hungalus through, I mean, it's super impressive and shows you the quality that uh, SE, you know, looks for when they're putting together a 1095 blade over there for, our, for that company. The other thing to note also is batoning. I mean, I've loved, I love batoning with this. Even though it's 3 16 of an inch thick and not a quarter inch thick, quarter inch thick would be better. A saber grind versus, you know, almost a full flat grind. It's a very high saber grind. Uh, would be better for batoning, but it's so big in its spanning capability that I can just wail on the other end of it as hard as I can, and it'll just split through any type of wood that I've ever thrown at it. And uh, been a fantastic batoner, even though it's not quite as thick or possibly has quite the grind that I would prefer, just because of how big and capable the knife is. I mean, it, it does stuff that you know a lot of other knives just can't do, and it's very impressive when it comes to batoning. And I really enjoy batoning with this thing as well. And finally, you know, the carving and whittling. The, the complaint that I have with this knife, and I talked about this a little bit in my original review, is that it doesn't have a finger choil like the RTAC 2, which was its predecessor, had. And uh, I really think that that's the only hang-up that I have. Uh, I can definitely get you know carving tasks done, and again, with that shaving sharp edge, it's very easy for me to get feather sticks and you know different things like that and shaving done for a fire in comparison to most other blades of this size, you know, like SP51 or 53, the RTAC even, do not come with fi as fine an edge as these uh, and be able to hold their edge as well when it comes to the, the SE Hunglis, just because of how the the steel again over there that they're using at uh, SE is definitely an improvement over what you would get with most other knife companies. Um, K bar's close, but SE still has I believe a leg up because of their heat treat and some of the other stuff they do over there. But um, the ergonomics are amazing for the chopping and the carving. The only thing is, it's just hard for me to choke up and really get that fine carving done. Whereas a, f a designated finger choil like you see me holding right here, would really be a benefit and really make this thing from like a 9 to a 10 out of 10 for me. So uh, maybe in upcoming years, S, you'll do something about that. Probably not, uh, but, you know, it's always something to hope for. Uh, and I'm not going to try and mod this thing myself. Um, maybe in the future I'll buy a second one and try and do some modding. But um, overall, guys, uh, just kind of do an update for you after all the abuse. And we've used this thing not only in subs... Uh, 
uh, freezing temperatures, you know, teens here in the Rocky Mountains, but also, you know, in the summertime, all sorts of chopping, all so sorts of different types of wood. This thing is absolutely an amazing setup, not only with the Kydex sheath that it comes with, which is awesome, but also just all the capabilities that this knife presents to you is something that will last you a lifetime. And, you know, you just take this out there with a, a smaller blade like an Azula. I think I got one here on me. Yeah, I happen to have my little olive green Azula. You have these two knives, you don't need another setup. I mean, these things are amazing. Just the, particularly the SE uh, Hungalus has been an amazing companion for me for outdoor activities. And I have zero plans, like I said, to get rid of this thing and uh, totally worth a purchase, guys. So just a quick update and kind of redux showing you the amazing capabilities of this blade highly recommended here at Gideon's Tactical large wilderness knives are always going to be a staple here and uh, you know save up get one ask one for your Christmas birthday whatever it'll totally be worth a purchase and last you a lifetime in my opinion and if it doesn't SE will send you a brand new one so thanks everybody for watching this particular episode here at Gideon's Tactical well everyone thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical please subscribe comment like the videos, share the videos, and check out our Facebook page. You can find it on the YouTube homepage at Gideon's Tactical. Like our Facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos. Uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear, new gear releases, you know, that products and companies that uh, are released, as well as behind the scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.